the waste occurs across the whole supply chain. So if we consider the various stages of, of a fish's life after it's been captured, so it starts its, the, this journey on the vessel, and from the vessel it will move to the processing factory, and from the processing factory through to transportation, and from transportation to the markets and to the consumer. So losses and waste can occur at every single stage of this uh, supply chain. The work that, uh, that I'm particularly involved with, with, uh, with food loss and waste, is to do with the losses and waste that occur on board fishing vessels. And FAO has looked at this issue for many, many years, and we have estimated that nearly 8% of the global marine production is discarded in, uh, from, from, from fishing vessels. 8%, that's a lot of fish. That's, and that's an awful lot of fish that could be used for human consumption, but also it's fish that has the potential for providing revenue for, uh, for those fishing communities. So it's serious, but it's not just there. Fish is also uh, lost in processing factories. We cut the heads off, we cut the tails off, we throw away the bones. All of this could be value added through uh, some additional value added processing technology, but at the moment, a lot of it finds its way into uh, landfill. We also have in, in some countries, particularly uh, many developing countries, fish spoilage. If we don't have good ice facilities, good cooling facilities, good freezer capacity, then fish that is stored is subject to um, sp being spoiled through to um, uh, flies or, or, or being uh, left in environments which are warm and that will also spoil and in some cases that can be also be quite serious losses occurring there. But take those forward and, and, and look at transportation clearly. If, 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 if uh, fish which requires to be stored at low temperatures in order to preserve it and the, and the preservation uh, systems are not operating correctly, you can have losses there. But also when it comes to the consumer in, in, in the home, um, if we get hold of a whole fish and we decide to chop its head and tail off and its bones, all that's also wasted. That could actually have value in many respects, composting, but, but maybe it, there are other types of use that this can have. So that's where the losses are occurring across the supply chain. But from my perspective, I think we have not only a, a large amount of that uh, loss occurring in, uh, in, in, capt in capture fisheries in the fi in, from the fishing vessels, but we also have solutions to try and resolve, resolve these issues. Uh, through our work with, uh, on, on gear design and through uh, looking at best practices, we can reduce significantly those, those discards uh, occurring.